The year was 2013, and a group of huge male lions made their mark on the southern Kruger. They were discovered along the banks of the Shishangeni area, and they were males that meant serious business. October in 2015, these Shishangeni males would take over the Verhami pride, and kill some very famous lions in the process. Lions that leaves a void in the southern Kruger, till this very day. This group of Shishangeni males, expelled the south Shishangeni males, by taking over the Verhami pride in the far southern Kruger, and with this, they would lead them into a battle they couldn't handle. Little did these Shishangeni males know, that they would meet some of the most fierce male lions around, the Gomondwane trio. Tank, Split Nose and Blondie would fight these males, to take over the Verhami pride from them. In June 2022, this fierce battle would take place, on the banks of the Crocodile River, near the Shish area. It was a battle that was visible from the opposite side, by farmers and residents to external parks, outside of the Kruger National Park. The fight took place in the very early hours one morning, on a cold winter morning, as the Gomondwane trio, took down their half-brothers. The last sighting of one of the Shish males was seen later that week, but the male was in terrible condition. This was the end of an era for two great warriors, the Shish duo, and in the same breath, marked the beginning of an era that unfolds until this very day, the era of the Western. Gomondwane Males Tank, Split Nose and Blondie, has built something rather special in the South, specifically with the Verhami Pride. They have together, managed to sire nine young males, in a mega pride of more than 27 lions at the time. With these nine young males reaching an age where they need to start fending for themselves, are we going to see them throw over the Gomo males? These nine males have split into two groups. Zaza, along with three of the older members, and the rest, who remains with the pride still. The split is also a clear indication of where the future coalitions lie, and are starting to form. The Verhami young males also has a history of fighting older male lions, and the last time that happened, we lost Mo Verhami's brothers, also on the banks of the Crocodile River. This left a very famous male's lion, Mo, a nomad today, and no one really knows where this stunning male has gone off to, and if he's still alive at all. The Shishangeni blood runs very deep in the southern Kruger. As a matter of fact, it runs all the way to the Empondo area, which is far away from its origins in the far south. No one really knows how far this bloodline has traveled, it might be even further than that. With male lions like these in their previous and past bloodlines, you can only imagine what the future holds, and what this bloodline means to lion enthusiasts around the world, and why they have captivated so many lion lovers. It's once you start digging into the history here in the Southern Kruger, that you realize just how special it is what we currently have down here, in the Gomondwane males. I hope that like me, you enjoy their stories, and how this all plays out. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe, if you haven't done so already. Have a blessed day, and see you in the next one.